Hi, I just thought I'd take you through some animation experiments, which is where I've been spending a lot of time. Um, all of them, of course, on Iron Ruby or Windows Phone 7 inside Iron 7. Um, okay, so um, the best place to take you is just to take you through um, the big keyframes um, animations. Um, there are some simpler animations you can see here. So the code for the simple animations is very simple. Essentially, we create an animation, which is a double animation. We add that to a storyboard, for example here, giving it the button opacity property, so it's going to animate the, the opacity. Um, and then we just really call that storyboard with begin, and off it runs. So um, I can show you that running on the phone, or on the emulator at least. Um, so let's uh, pull the script down. All scripts, animations, and so we're looking for just the first simple animation. And you can see if I run this script up, then when you hit Animate Me, it does the uh, animation. Um, so there are a couple of other simple um, tutorials there. Uh, let me just show you those. Simple Animation 2, if I run Simple Animation 2 up. Simple Animation 2 does a, uh, a scale transform animation. And you can see the code for that. Um, I'll show you back in the main browser just so it's a bit bigger. Um, simple Animation 2, so the code for that is slightly more complicated, but not much really. Um, here we set a render transform for the um, scale transform, and then we just change what we're actually animating inside the button listener. So it's all very straightforward, really. Um, and then a third example that we've got um, is to do combine those things. So what we actually do in this example is we um, down a little bit more. We add the scale transform just as before, um, but we create three animations and add each of those to our storyboard. So we animate the scale X, the scale Y, and the opacity all on the same storyboard. So if we show you that one running, animation 3, spin it up, and you can see X, Y, and opacity all go together. Um, right, so um, I took those, um, and that was kind of the, the inspiration going into it. But then I created a whole bunch of animations. So the code for this is a little bit more complicated. Um, but you can see we take all sorts of rotations, skews, translations, which is move, the opacity fading. We take some color transformations. And we also take some scale transformations. Um, so you can see it's really just um, boilerplate code in terms of putting these things together. Um, at the root of it all, we do create um, a transform group. And then we add each of the, the skew transforms scale transforms, etc., to that group as is requested. So um, rather than talking you through that code, I'll just quickly spin it up. So let's go back to the emulator and let's load keyframe animations. And the reason these are keyframe animations is because they do all go through a series of stages. Um, so if I just show you it running, it's probably the easiest. Um, so what we get is we get a choice of buttons. So here, for example, is the Rotate X. These run beautifully on the phone as well. It's not just an emulator thing. Um, rotate Y. So that's rotating about the Y axis. Rotate Z. So you can see that there's multiple stages involved in each of these. Um, so you can see it goes, skews one way, then skews the other, and then comes back to the middle. Similarly with the Y, skews in different directions. The moves. I'll do both of those at the same time. In fact, this runs smoother on the phone than it does here on the emulator, which is quite unusual. Um, so we can change the background color through a series of colors. Change the foreground color through a series of colors. We can do scaling. And then, just for fun, we can actually combine these together in various different mechanisms. So you can see how they're all combined. Um, I won't tr attempt to describe which of these things. Well, that one's easy. Combo 7 is just a scale X and a scale Y. Combo 8 looks like it's scaling, it's skewing, it's changing color, it's doing all sorts of things. And similarly, Combo 9 is doing rotations, skews, and scales all together. So that's how easy it is to put these things together um, in terms of uh, any uh, combinations you might want to do and things like that. And then where is it practically used? Well, I've used it in the um, Xylophone app. So if we find Xylophone... Uh, it's not in that list, that's typical. Um, let me come down to uh, Xylophone will be inside sound. Let me 
doesn't come out, it'll be, oh, there was music, that was where it was. Um, so let me just check my scripts online, I know it's straight away in there. And then, so we take a look at the xylophone app. Then originally this xylophone app was quite static, so when you, uh, when you hit these things, you got the sound, but you didn't get any more effects. Um, so what I've done is I've actually added in that when you hit these things, they do move. So it gives a nicer effect, the fact that these um, uh, xylophone bars, when you hit them, actually do respond in some way. Yeah, so it gives you more feedback. Um, and that's where it's used at the current. Um, you can, of course, combine these effects even further if you want to. Um, so anything can be animated. Um, so one of the things that I, I've put together at the moment as well is a video example um, where we actually animate a, a media element um, while it is playing, if that will download. I've got network issues, let me just check that again. Okay, I came down that time. So here we have a um, the basic setup is media elements created, and we call animate on the media element. And what we do is we do a rotate transform, we center it 400 and 240, which is the middle of the screen when you're in landscape. Um, and then we rotate the, um, somewhere in there will be the property, and the property is the rotate transform dot angle property. So if I run that up, it may take a second or two to uh, also rotate the device, because it's going to be in landscape. It may take a second or two to start the video. Or longer. I should have pre-cached this video for this demo. So there's the video um, finally started, and you can see there's the rotate transform happening on the video as it as it plays. Um, so uh, so there's some examples of uh, animation working in uh, Iron Seven. Um, good luck playing with that. <laughs>